comes Kansas City. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Still first down. So that one will be accepted. going to run it here up the middle and he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run only a yard on the pickup there and it'll be second down Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm but when you run the ball in the first play of the drive that's not a tendency breaker at all that's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward there you have it halftime quickly over third quarter here we go Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll with it over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Mahomes dropping one to Williams here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Off the draw, here's Williams. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. It'll be a gain of four, and that's going to make it fourth down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They'll run it again with Henry. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, Titans gain of 12. 
Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Mariota's throw on the money to Davis. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 16 yards, a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. To throw is Mariota. Got a man, it's Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! A 22-yard scamper, and the Titans have taken the lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that will make this a four-point game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a Deion Lewis touchdown run. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now high. Wesley Woodyard there on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Still second down. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Slam, slam, slam. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And they're going to face a third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here we go. Here we Give go. him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. Third and four, he did just enough. I mean, just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. Mahomes firing complete, and he's got this down to the 35. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. They'll run on first down. Thompson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. 
from the 30 on second down. Mahomes wide open as Watkins. He's got him. And they move this all the way down to the nine. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. So it'll be second and goal when we return. We've played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run it with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. They'll run it with Williams. And Williams is in for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Again, it's Henry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Mariota on third and two. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And oh, they had him bottled up, but here's a late flag, and a face mask is going to get a much better starting position. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So the face mask gets him a free 15 to start the drive. Now here's Mahomes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you gotta be super careful. Gotta be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. 
Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually, but first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Chris Jones picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. Mariota to throw it. And he finds his target. It's sharp. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 30. Mariota now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Mariota going to give to Lewis. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Mariota over the middle here to Brown. And he'll take it down here, just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! A 16-yard touchdown. And the Titans have once again taken the lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and that will make this a four point game. Now it's Ryan Sucka on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score now. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. The tackle is almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Four yards, the pickup, first down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Mahomes now to throw, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Here's a quick hitch route, and the throw complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. 
They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. A first down carry for Henry. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They run. This is Lewis. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Mariota hands to Henry, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost. And that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And now the Titans' defense gets set to go again. They've had a great game, but one final stop. That's what they're thinking about right now, aren't they? And I think they believe that it's almost in the bag because of how they've played all game long. <laughs> Look at them out there, just confidence at every step. They've held them for most of the game. They think one more stop is almost inevitable. They're hoping so. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and three. To throw is Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. So now it's fourth down and short, and whatever they do, run or pass it, they've got to pick up the first here. Yeah, and you mentioned running it. That is still an option, but as you also said, they've got to do it quickly and get back to the line of scrimmage. Here we go with Williams. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, with Damian Williams, it's notable that the Chiefs didn't make a play to go after a big-time running back in the offseason. The coaching staff said back in May they didn't want running back by committee. They trusted Williams to be their starter. You remember last year, he was forced into the starting role the final three games of the season due to attrition, and he really excelled. And then he was excellent in the playoffs against the Colts and Patriots. Strong indicator that he was ready to be the bell cow. Complete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Oh, Travis Kelsey unable to pull it in. And that takes us from second to third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. One final try for Mahomes. 
And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.